You're going to make the women uncomfortable. Can you at least do it for the women and the young girls? Do you not care about them? That's why people say now it's about hating biological women. Because if you care enough about their safety and you look like a full-grown biological man, you would go to the other side. I'm sorry. Again, I'm not trying to like say anything against trans people, but even if someone mistakes a, mistakes a gender for trans person, they shouldn't get mad. And we should accommodate everybody, but not at the expense of other people. And this is at the expense of other people. Like, we can accommodate people, okay, if you're handicapped, of course there's handicapped washrooms, but if we're gonna compromise people's safety- Hey guys, this is Alessia, welcome back to my channel. I'm here again with Anon, he's about to pop up in a minute. But I, this is a part two or a continuation to the We Spa controversy because I realized we did not cover all the points and we did not say everything we feel. So we're going to make it in this part. Again, another disclaimer, please guys hear us out. I, I, I'm going to assume a lot of people agree with us because of the last video looking at the comments, but the sociological approach, like what can be done differently in these situations and things like that. So if you want to come on this journey with us, keep watching. A lot of people also in my last video were starting to say like, oh, they're biological women haters. How are they going to go hate on like the women that were protesting and then claim like they want equality. And like, if you just look at the comments in my la in part one of the video, but Anon and I, mm -hmm. uh, uh, just according to the dailymail.com, it says that the, the mother that was like, giving the interview, he says that uh, she's saying that the trans person had, uh, you know, like the genitals and a beard. Like, it might change the perspective of people. Like, for example, if this looked like a full biological man, like, like, like your father out there, like, I'm assuming, like, one of you guys, like, father out there, I feel like people would be more enraged. But if it looked like someone like Blair White, because Blair White doesn't have bottom surgery. This is what I'm getting. So, basically, she's saying that she is a Democrat, like, a registered Democrat, and she's an LGBTQ supporter, but she wants to protect her six-year-old daughter's innocence. Yeah, it can. People tend to make everything about politics. Like, how is this a political mm -hmm. thing, you know? Exactly, exactly. I mean, yeah, of course, of course, just to like kind of like give that information out. He basically said that the person had, um, like, you know, like male genitals and also a beard, like according to her, like the mother who gave the interview. If, if that person had a beard, then I'm guessing it looked like a girl, you know what I mean? She would have like the masculine look. A lot of people are saying that, so a person with the, uh, yeah. So are we gonna see she looks like a biological male? We're gonna assume that because based on what the mother said, like based on what the mother said, and okay, she has like a six year old daughter and everything. Of course, she might get a little bit more defensive. Okay, I'm sorry, call me ignorant, but if you're why would a trans person present as their biological gender if they're dysphoric about that biological gender? Like I was saying, make that make sense. It's one thing, okay, yeah, like first of all, their genitals were out, aren't they dysph dysphoric about that? But then they look like a guy, like it doesn't make sense to me. Like, for example, me, right? If I was, like, bothered about being a girl, and, like, why would I go out presenting, like, like people are going to argue, oh, a tr a, a, someone that is a woman can have a beard, and then they're going to, how do I say this? Then they're going to bring up all these points and stuff. But do you understand what I'm saying? Also, if you're trans and you want to correct me, please do it in a polite way. But I don't understand if someone... Then that's, like, that takes away from the point of being trans. If you claim you're trans and, like, you're actually a, a woman, why would you look like a, like a full... It's... Guys, I know you're- It kind of like gives me like pedophile vibes because don't like pedos just do any anything to like, you know, like get the attention of children and the fact that she, the, the person, she was around children. Let's use Trump as an example because we know that the quote unquote, our generation don't like Trump. Well, a lot of them, not everybody. So let's say Trump came out and said, I'm a woman. Everybody would be like, no, you're not. Like, look, look, look. Or like, like right there in front of you. You would be like, no, you're not. You're joking, right? Like a lot of people wouldn't believe you, right? However, I know some people are going to come up to us and be like, okay, maybe that person was about to transition. If they were about to transition, then why couldn't they wait until they fully got the transition, then going to the spot? Apparently, you don't need to have dysphoria to be trans. So I can't use this argument like, oh, if they're so uncomfortable about their body, why are they there in the first place? That's suspicious. Yes, but guys like i don't know how to word this like i'm trying to word this but you guys get what i'm saying if I, what if people say okay maybe the trans person wasn't bothered by the way they look okay then why don't you go into the guy section why don't you go to the place where those people look like you oh but i'm a woman but still like don't what if you're gonna make the woman uncomfortable you're gonna make the women uncomfortable. Can you at least do it for the women and the young girls? Do you not care about them? That's why people say now it's about hating biological women. Because if you care enough about their safety and you look like a full-grown biological man, you would go to the other side. I'm sorry, but there I are think- so many, There are so many pedophiles that can claim that they're trans and then go into uh, women's like section just to like look at like kids in that way. 
Re I feel like it's a bit selfish if you care about your own needs over hundreds of people's like comfort and safety. You know, like you guys get what I'm trying to say. It's not a question of equality at this point. It's a matter of safety. It's a matter of safety. There are two sections. Just go into the male section. Like there, it's the exact same exactly. Thing. There's no benefit. It's the same There's exact so thing. Many arguments that we can put against these people who's like standing, who's like for, like who's like like defending this guy. We can put so many. And it, and if we let people's feelings take over the world, everything would be in chaos. And like people Black don't care about feelings. Like Ben Shapiro and Tom McDonald's. If you go into the guy section, it's not like they're saying, yeah, we're all biological men. Nobody gives a flying crap. Like, people are just there changing, minding their business. But I don't know why I forgot to tell you this, Alessia, but like, I, let me just say, uh, for the sake of the video, I have seen a guy that, 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 that looked like extremely like, feminine come into the guy section of the washroom. So it doesn't that say a lot. So tech, So... I'm, I'm assuming that that guy, he probably, he looks like even more feminine than the, the guy in the Wii Spa, uh, the, girl, the person in the Wii Spa situation. Right, but that's the thing, if you use the pedo logic, people are going to get mad because people are, like, already tr people think that trans people are pedos, and nobody's saying trans people are pedos, it's just like... It's just the situation. There's a reason why genders are segregated, and unfortunately, I wish it wasn't like this. If people didn't do the things they do, if there was no such thing as crimes and, 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 and assaults with like sexual stuff, okay, mix everybody, who cares? But there's a reason there's separation. So now if we let male generals in the girls section, or even vice versa, don't you think there's going to be more problems? And now there's going to be problems where people are actually doing things in these spaces and it's not a spa anymore? So why not just like in the Wii Spa make a session for transgender people? That we a lot of problems with. There's a reason why trans people in prisons have a separate section. Let that hit exactly. you too. Exactly. And also, it will solve a lot of problems because say, firstly, it will stop pedophiles because I'm sure that not a kid just wouldn't be trans. Like, a small child wouldn't be trans. So oh, like, oh, oh, don't even start their... They're trying to make kids like choose okay, their but, gender. Okay, but like not statistically not that. Like not very low. You know what I mean? Very, yeah. very low. So... That it would solve that situation, and it would also solve the situation of like that confusion of like which 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 spa section should this person go into if they're trans. You know what I mean? So just make it trans. trans right, and like, do you guys care so much about your gender that it matters which washroom you go into? Like, does it really matter to you so much? Like, I don't know about you guys, but for example, when someone's like, "What are my pronouns?" Yeah, she, her, but if someone says I'm a he, right, they misgender me, I don't care. Like, I don't care about my gender like that. Like, I, apparently, this is why pronouns were made. It's for trans people, not people like me. Because people like me, I feel like people who are not trans, like, don't really care what people refer to them. Like, they're not going to get offended if you accidentally call them a he. Like, I really don't care. Again, I'm not trying to, like, say anything against trans people, but even if someone mistakes a, ge mistakes a gender of a trans person, they shouldn't get mad. Right, and we should accommodate everybody, but not at the expense of other people. And this is at the expense of other people. Like, we can accommodate people. Okay, if you're handicapped, of course there's handicapped washrooms. But if we're going to compromise people's safety... I know gender doesn't matter that much to us. Maybe gender matters a lot to trans people. But for other people's safety, for other people's safety, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to the guys out there who are genuine and everything. But women and little girls, they do fear their safety, unfortunately. So if you see a man walking into their private spaces, they're going to freak out. I know I would. I would be like, oh, hell no. Like, something's about to go down. But that's just how the life is. It's like a biological man. So please. They could be claiming that they're trying to Please. If you, if you care about women and little girls, please, for their safety, for their well-being, please just go where you need to go because you're gonna put a lot of people you're gonna make a lot of people feel scared okay please if you care if you're not selfish and you care about them too please just if you are if you have a male genitals and you look like a full biological man like let's say tom mcdonald right please just go to the other one please like for for our safety for our comfort and if it's the other way around if it's a male female to male should, should the female to male go into the female section or the men section on Men on top, see. women at the bottom. I mean, see, that's that's why all these problems would be solved if they created a transgender like spa, a transgender like spa, like separately, like a transgender section, mm. or or if they divided the sections of the spa. So meaning, like one family or one group, and even if that, even if there's only one person in that group, they would go into their allocated spa, which no one else can enter. 
Oh, right, yeah. and like an other section, and again, I know people are gonna be like, oh, but you guys are playing out meant to be predators. But I'm not saying that, but look at the statistics. Guys, I am so sorry that statistics are like this, but like, it's true. Like, that's why it would be different if it was female to male, because in fact, the female to male would probably feel uncomfortable in the men's section. I would assume it if she had a, a girl genital, be just because of the way people are. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not saying, oh, all guys are like dangerous, and if a girl goes near a guy, she's gonna get assaulted. I'm not saying that, but you guys have to also think that this is how like we're program this is what we see on statistics it's not really safe like what he was saying what anon was saying if we have separate sections why is it in prison that there's a separate section for people that are at risk like lgbtq like trans like why is it like there but not in a spa you know exactly exactly and also no okay uh, but if they think that creating a separate section for transgender people is like is like not even is like calling them out what if people are like oh if you make a transgender you're calling them okay, out okay 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 if, if saying that okay i have an argument for that too then why not like divide the sections of the spa like divide it so that it's one family or one person allocated to one spa and yeah and all common shared thing and we're just assuming the person accidentally showed their genital actually but if they purposely did it then then no matter what gender you are just out like no no actually no ignore what i said because this is a naked spa so i shouldn't forget that cut that out I, i'm not gonna say that because it's a naked spa so i can't be like but exactly to like the women who like was reporting the thing, they're reporting the thing. What happened? She said that um, like the like the man, he was uh, the, cut that out, please. I said man, cut that out. I'm gonna get canceled. No, they actually didn't. A lot of people. It's a biological man anyway, so you wouldn't get canceled. Okay. Person, the trans person, they walked in. They walked in with their towels off. They were like walking in, like like kind of like marching proudly with their chest out. Like you know what I mean? It was like you know. Some people will argue if the person isn't assaulting anybody, they should be able to do that. But then, guys, that takes away from gender segregation. Like, then people, it, then it makes no sense. But then what if that guy was an actual freaking pedophile and was about to do something to that six-year-old girl? See, now, now we're getting into the argument that men are the problem, and if men didn't do this, everybody could be mixed. Now we're getting into that point. But, but like, it doesn't matter who the problem is. Unfortunately, this is how society is. If people if people didn't commit crimes, if we were all perfect people, no crimes, who cares? Because again, who cares? again I'm, I'm Okay, scared. when a group is known to cause problems, then people want to they're scared of, and unfortunately it's like that, but let's change it. Don't be a part of the problem. Mm -hmm. Is the second thing about private stalls. If they had private stalls and change rooms just like washrooms, maybe it wouldn't be as big of a deal. Like male male gender because was there because nobody would know. Because they would be they would be in their own stall and it would be exactly to make this a general thing, forget about we spa, a general thing, I just feel like letting male genitalia in women's section is opening doors to problems. Um, whether they're trans or not, I just feel like it, it's leading because there's going to be genuine trans people that are just trying to go into the washroom and get out, cool. But then there's going to be people who are going to take advantage. So what's going to outweigh what? Are there going to be more people taking advantage, like pedos and assaulters? Or there's going to be more genuine trans people who are just trying to do their safety. business? For the safety of people for the safety of people, there should be a different section for trans people or there should be separated sections of this. Country. Why don't everybody, including trans people, team up against the predators so the predators go away and then trans people can come in? Like, like it's all the, it's all because of the predator. It's the predator's fault. It's the it, predator's fault of this whole situation. Predators, any predators, it's their fault. Because now, look what happens. If they're just, they're the ones that cause this. Like, they're the, if they weren't here, then this wouldn't happen. Because, the, again, my main point is because of predators, because of predators, what if that guy was a predator? I'm automatically kind of like assuming that, you know? But then also at the same time, also indecent exposure. It would be considered indecent exposure because apparently, but it's a naked spa, that's the thing though. Right, but... <sighs> I want, I want the trans person to have an interview. I really do. I want to see how the trans person was feeling. Even if they don't show their face, I just want to know how they were feeling. I know they could lie about it. I know the, the people who were reporting it could lie about it, but I want to know. Are they, like, what, like, you know, how, how did they feel going into that section knowing that they would be, that women would and little girls would be seeing this situation? Like, I just want to know from their, like, I want to know the truth from them, like, what how they would be feeling. I just think this whole trans situation with washrooms and locker rooms and spas is a mess. It's a disaster. And it's all because of predators. If predators didn't exist, people probably wouldn't care as much. Even though no one wants to look at your privates. But still, like, it's all because of predators. Not just predators. Predators, assaulters, like, if they didn't exist, like, and things were actually normal, unlike how things are now, then... This crap wouldn't happen. Exactly, because even if a guy was like 
who looked like a biological man once sent her like a woman section, the woman wouldn't feel like that like threatened. Or, they didn't see statistics. Like if, okay. If, if said otherwise. I'm in, and then if people want to argue, okay, what if there was 10 women and one guy, I'm sure they could beat him. Okay, but what if there was one woman? What if there's one woman and then you see a, a person that looks like a biological male walk in? If I, if I was alone and I saw that walking in, I'd be like, I would get out. I would just get out because of my bad experiences. But if there was like 20 women in this one person, maybe they would just feel uncomfortable because, hey, if something were to happen, I'm sure they could all like team up against this person. But you guys have to also see, imagine you were alone with that person. I want people who think that this is like 100% okay, no problem to be alone. I want to see how you guys would feel. Like genuinely put yourself in that situation, being surrounded by like four male, you know, parts and then just being like one woman, how you would, how, one girl, how you'd feel. I feel really bothered. It doesn't even have to go to Alessia, like, even if that was to happen to me, like, oh And if God. they knew each other, too, I'd be like, no, they're about to do something to me. They're about to do something to me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, uh -huh. but it's not my even fault me. that this happens. <laughs> even me. Even me. I know people might use the same logic for racism, but there are way more predators than racist people, genuinely. Like, no one believes this, but, like, people want to use the whole, like, oh, now you, now you guys know how, like, we feel when there's, like, white people around. Okay, there are way more predators than racist white people, so, like... Exactly. And I just hope this doesn't open a gateway for predators to take advantage. What do you guys think? This was a long video. I appreciate you for sticking around. Please comment. I made it all the way if you did. What? what any last words? Like, please let, let us know your opinions in a peaceful manner. And we love that. We love that. And again, thanks a lot for watching this video. <gasps> if you guys want, I'll go on. Like, we'll go on Omega. Like, maybe like, ask people like their opinions on like this whole situation. I know it's like been extended and prolonged, but this is an ongoing thing. And thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.